Hello, welcome. Oh, what was that? <coughs> Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. I haven't actually hardly spoken. Well, I have actually. I've done quite. You can probably tell. You can tell I'm fractious. I've done um, some call centre things today that I had to do. It's probably, yeah, not the only time you're going to see me a little bit kind of. But yeah, very much so. So, okay, I've talked the hind leg off. Um, call centre people, but here I am. Welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Thursday, the 6th, I think, of October. And I certainly look that way because I certainly have my John Bon Jovi kind of hairstyle going on today, whether I like it or not, really. How are you finding moving into winter, those of you that are in the Northern Hemisphere? I'm putting the hand cream on, I've got the big slipper. I'm starting to have to put socks on and whatnot. And also, can you see <laughs> the distance over there behind or well, near BB-8? There's a cake, right? Can you see that? There's actually a cake. That is a salted caramel cake. I made it today. And can I say, frankly, it's, it's the one of the, it may be, apart from I did have a parsnip cake once at a garden centre many years ago that was exceptional. But apart from that, it's the best cake I've ever eaten. I know, I just made it. And honestly, the buttercream kind of collapsed. So it's salted caramel buttercream, excuse me. And it all, <laughs> the cake started going like that. And uh, so I just spooned it on top like it was a sauce. Oh my God, <sighs> what can I say? But anyway, all the cats were circling all three of them and I haven't got one of those covers and I couldn't put it in a tin because it will just fall apart and I didn't trust any of them not to leg it up onto the surface so I was like I'm going to do the daily tarot what will I do so I've brought the cake with me the cake is there long live the cake oh gosh it's dripping it's dripping slightly over the side anyway it's all good today we are going to use the Mary L tarot and also, if I play my cards right, and I'm not sure I have, um, it should be a love reading out at the same time as this one. So have a look. Some people get notifications, some people don't. YouTube's a bit weird like that. So there is a love reading. Like a motorbike starting. There you go. It was good. It was good fun doing it. A lot of energy went into it. So check it out. Now, Mary L, we have not done this tarot for ages. So I have the book with me just in case. The Landscapes of the Abyss and the Mary L Tarot by Marie White. Don't know why I haven't used it, but we're using it because it's gorgeous. I remember it from before. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but I'm really hoping it does. And if it doesn't, I'll just lift it up. I'm using it mostly because it's kind of, you know, we're in the wintry season. I'm looking for Halloween-y, autumn-y type decks. So I'm kind of using it for that. Oh, nice. It's absolutely, oh God. It's absolutely gorgeous as a deck. It really is. I remember it. I remember it being gorgeous and slightly, not disturbing, but arresting is what I would say. Oof. Doof, doof, that's a new one. Doof, sound a bit like Mr. Simpson, don't I? But doof. Okay, let's fiddly widdly biddly bop. Gosh. And see, A, if they show up and B, if they fit. Oh, they kind of do. I'll give you a bigger close up and then we'll kind of, um, I've got to show you that one, look at that. Completely gorgeous. Right. Let's deal with the number twos. <laughs> Maybe literally. We have this uh, gorgeous beast, the two of wands. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? I've been to places that kind of look like that. This network of loveliness and trees meeting each other. Anywho, two of wands is when you're kind of on the verge of making decisions and that those decisions are seeking to take you beyond your horizon or comfort zone, kind of both. 
it, they want you to travel more, they want you to go further psychologically, they want you to push it a bit, they want you to think more openly and more of an open world with more of a bird's eye view. And we all do this, and particularly if, what, since 2020, we've all been a bit more narrow in our focus about what we can manage, manage what we can't, what we dare and what we don't, you know. Um, we have that one together with this magnificent beauty, the Two of Swords. Oof. Now, is that a firefly? Dragonfly? Something like that, isn't it? Oh, it's lush. So Two of Swords again, Two of Swords tells us, <laughs> quite in competition actually, or in conflict with the Two of Wands, that even if the Two of Wands wants us to push those envelopes, we don't really know where we're going exactly. That's okay. Two of Swords often has in the Rider Waite version, the woman with the um, what's going to blindfold. I don't know why I can't think. It's too much talking to call centre people. It addles my brain. Woman with the blindfold and you've got the two swords, which are two aces of swords crossing each other. Two good ideas crossing each other. Two possible routes in conflict and also complementing each other. What you don't have yet with the two of swords is the third way or the way because you're creating it. And that's where the two of wands helps you. If you look at that, you're finding your way through the trees. And it's a nice journey. I used the J word. Sorry about that. Okay. Then we have the Five of Wands. Oof. That's a kind of a lion thing. A lion thing. Not a lion king, but a lion thing. This is my version of the lion king where someone draws a splodge. It sort of looks like a lion. It's a lion thing. Five of Wands, of course, is the card of what fresh hell is this? Or why can't I see the, I was going to say the blood for the trees, the wood for the trees. Why can't I see what I'm doing, where I'm going? Why don't I have one clear line of sight? There's not always a reason for it, but there's often a kind of, uh, reason is the wrong word. There's a rationale of some kind. It's kind of, I guess we're going to have to use another tea towely word, divine timing. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. If we were doing, um, I suppose, spiritual bingo, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be checking almost a full house here, wouldn't I? Okay, so we have the five of wands. Things are not exactly peachy, but they're not bad either. It's kind of, yeah, 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 you can do it type thing. And then the four of swords. Beautiful, beautiful four of swords. Love this. Telling us to find time for the old R&R. &R. R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. Me, myself, I'm quite bad at this. Some of you are probably quite bad at it too. Some people are good at it. Let me know in the comments section if you're one of the good people at it. Let me know if you're one of the bad people too. Um, it's about catching your limits before you reach them. You know, finding time for a nap, not letting that friend stay too long who just plugs into you and drains you and needs loads of attention. Um, not spending too long speaking to the call centre people longer than you might have to, you know, just doing the the uh, minimum, which is what I did. It was honestly quite enough. So taking your chances for rest and relaxation and anticipating, like you do with dog training, anticipating things before they happen. Okay. Queen of Swords. Beautiful. Look at that. God, that's lovely. Queen of Swords is the queen of honestly saying the word no. No. <laughs> no. And if you have trouble saying the word no, and empaths among you probably have trouble saying the word no, you can go on YouTube or TikTok or Google or anywhere like that. And there are people out there that have like five ways to say no without being ostracized by everybody. Have a look at some of those because actually it's training like anything else. You just need to learn how to do it, especially you empaths, okay? I mean you and you know who you are. And that might come up a bit in the love reading as well, actually. I might have pointed my finger and I might have had a little rant. I might. Find out. Okay, and then finally we need this. 
This is gorgeous. Strength. Now, I cannot work out where the human is and where the lion is. Are those knees? In which case, I'm not sure. And I won't comment. <laughs> Please don't comment. Um, but anyway, it's strength. And a feeling of simpaticoness with your inner beast. And your inner beast is soft strength. If, if or, or, or not, or warrior strength, or hard strength. Doesn't matter, actually. It varies. Um, but I feel like if I am talking to the empaths more, I'm going to open the tarot cupboard and hope I don't knock the computer, um, then it might be soft strength and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm wagging my tail. I was going to say wagging my tail. I'm going to go for one of these, which had a very mixed reaction, but I'm feeling it. So I'm going to have to, and I feel that they complement um, the Mary L, and I don't know what on earth, and this is, you know, one of you said, you so nonchalantly threw away <laughs> the wrapping paper, and I'm like, I did. Probably at the box went with it, I'm not sure. Not sure, so I wish I could tell you what they are. In fact, I will tell you quickly what they are, because the, the book is here, but even the book has nothing written on the spine. So let's, let's go. This is the one that had the snotty gruel or whatever it was. Let's hope we don't get that bad boy again. The Oracles by Livy Bow. Yes. And lots of you had ideas about what the artwork looked like and I went and looked them all up. So I had a nice afternoon learning things. So thank you for that. I feel that one. Oh, yes. Swing. Okay. We, this is absolutely in keeping with our reading today. The treat at the end of the tunnel. Oh my God, it's, it's a cake. Oh my God, it's a cake. That's so cool. Because there's my cake that's falling down the plate. Um, wowzers, how bloody great is that? There you go. I'm gonna swear on my own YouTube channel. Because honestly, what I did was I spoke to the people on the phone thing <laughs> um, for an hour and a half. Oh my God, oh my God. And I got off and I thought, I'm not ready to do anything at this moment in time. And when I feel like that, for me, I like to bake. Two reasons. One, I can bake and I find it very relaxing. Don't know even why that is, but the eggs and sugar and everything's gorgeous like I it's the caramel for the salted caramel comes in a tin and it's the same sort of thing you get carnation milk like evaporated milk I mean, who doesn't like evaporated milk and you kind of I wedged the top off this and I literally I was on my own in the kitchen I literally went shouted as well enthusiastically like that sniffed it I went that's what I'm talking about I did I did. It was like, oh, just, oh, I love stuff. The unguent kind of caramelly, terrible. It's got so much sugar in. Terrible, but I don't care. So I kind of thought to myself, I need a treat. Not even at the end of the tunnel, but I've got to create some light. And I, and I made a cake for that reason. And although it's collapsing, it's absolutely superb. I love that. So those of you that feel like baking, do you well bake? It's not what they say to you on Bake Off. Do any of you watch Bake Off? I'm quite a Bake Off fan. I've watched it for yonks. Yonks and yonks and yonks. Okay. So, go bake a cake, I think, is definitely what I'm saying with this. Go watch the love reading. Have a look at that. There's some chortles and some fun in it as well. And it's quite intense. It's quite intense, the love reading. Now I remember. I remember that, yes. It's very intense and I do different things in the extended version to what I normally do as well because it was so intense it bumped me into a different way of doing stuff. Okay, I'm starting to do jazz hands and folk woman just wants to go and have a dance and maybe have another slice of cake. So I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.